you know, uh, Mark, I, I, I don't, I don't think at the beginning of the show that that you read uh, the doctor's uh, the credentials off. I wish you would because it, it means a lot, and it means a lot to me to hear them. Absolutely, and I will do that right now since I'm about to launch into reading this excellent article. Alan Sobrowski, Ph.D., University of Michigan, is a 10-year U.S. Marine Corps veteran and a graduate of the U.S. Army War College. Now, not only that, Dr. Sobrowski, correct me if I'm wrong here, not only are you a graduate of the U.S. Army War College, but you were director of studies there for some period of time. Is that correct? That's correct, for okay. five and a half years. Five and a half years as director of studies at the U.S. Army War College. You know, of all the things that I would love to be able to have trailing behind my name, Dr. Sobrowski, uh, being the Director of Studies at the U.S. Army War College would definitely be one of them. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, when we look at the two wars that the United States finds herself in and on the cusp of at least two others, and all of this for the benefit of a, of a certain foreign uh, a country uh, sitting on the eastern shores of the Mediterranean Sea, they have been wildly successful at, at bringing all of this about, and I think one of the main components of this is the fact that very few people really understand the nature of the problem. And I think that your article here basically lays out the problem, which is, is that when you have people who try to make this claim that they are loyal to America and at the same time loyal to a foreign government, it is a lie. It is, and it's more than, it's more than that, Mark. What, what we need to stand up and say is not only did they attack the USS Liberty, they did 9-11. Mm -hmm. They did it. I, am, I have had long conversations over the past two weeks with contacts at the Army War College, at Headquarters Marine Corps, and I've made it absolutely clear in both cases that it is 100% certain that 9-11 was a Mossad operation, mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. You know, and, you know, Phil, I don't, I don't denigrate what happened to U.S. Liberty in the slightest. You understand that. But for most Americans, you know, what happened in, to the U.S. Liberty or in Vietnam was history. Mm -hmm. You know, this is history. You know, they can be concerned about it, but they're not going to get mad about it. 9-11... Right. Has led directly to 60,000 Americans dead and wounded. God knows how many hundreds of thousands of people in other countries that we've killed or wounded or made homeless. Mm -hmm. And it's an ongoing sore. It's not your sore from the USS Liberty. It's not my sore from Vietnam. Both of us have those. Both of us care about it. But this is an ongoing. This is an open wound. And what Americans need to understand. They did it. Mm -hmm. They did it. And if they do understand that, Israel's going to disappear. Israel will flat ass disappear from this earth. If you know, I I I sent a film um, to to one of my colleagues, and it basically had had Americans grieving over their dead coming back. Mm -hmm. And I showed one of them. It was a, it was a woman. You just just wrenched by grief, you know, over over her dead soldier. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, if Americans ever know ever know that Israel did this, they're going to scrub them off the earth, and they're not going to give a rat's ass. Forgive my language. What the cost is, they are not going to care. They will do it. Alan, Alan, you and know, they uh, and they should and they should and they Alan, should. Alan, you you you. Uh, <laughs> Your article and your heart and your testimony and what you believe in is is uh, heart wrenching to me. It is uh, it is uh, like our founding fathers in their you shadows. Down below and you see talking molten saying, steel. We have to fix this. Molten steel running down the channel. We have to make channels. our own way, and we have to like do it now, or we will go down. Exactly. And Absolutely, Phil. I agree fully. Your 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 article uh, needs to be shipped off to the uh, to the Library of Congress immediately. Well, I can tell it, you, it's being read by some people in headquarters, Marine Corps, and at the Army War College. I sent well, it God, off to I sent it off to them this past week, and I've had some long discussions with people up there, and there are some really really unhappy people. What what are they saying? If you can if you can talk about that, Doctor Sprosky, what? 
You know, I, I, I'm curious. Asto you know, asto astonishment. Okay. The first thing, Mark, is astonishment. They didn't know. They, they truly didn't know. And these are not unintelligent people. They really didn't know. And the next statement is rage. Mm -hmm. Real rage. You know, and, you know, and the, the Zionists ha are playing this as, as truly an all or nothing exercise. Mm -hmm. Because if they, if they lose this one. That's it. If the American people ever realize what's right. happened, mm -hmm. they're done. That's it. You know, I have one grandparent who's Jewish. So it's, by it's, talking, it's not, it's, not, it's not only a matter of blowing our cover. If, if if Americans ever truly understand that, their history, you know, it'll be a bloody, brutal war, and they're gone. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, this is this is it's not even going to be a close contest. Well, and they and they know that, and what. What they, what they understand, I think, as well, is that their leverage is on the political appointments. Mm -hmm. Their leverage is not in the uniformed services. There are a lot. If you pick up the, the, the Army Times or the Navy Times or any of the journals of any of the services, you get a very different view than you get you know, looking at the Congress and the White House. Mm -hmm. And the, the military has not been bought. The military is loyal, but it has not been bought. Mm -hmm. And if it ever understands this, really, really deeply understands this, and this is what I, what I got when I put some of these things to the to the Army War College and to headquarters Marine Corps, and I I mentioned to to a contact at headquarters Marine Corps, I said, you know, they did 9/11, mm -hmm. and it was, you don't mean it. I said, absolutely. And if, if they ever understand that, these people are history. Well, now let me ask you something, Doctor. And obviously, I, I understand that you know you've got. We need to protect the names of the innocent here, and 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 you know this is there are, probably there are, no, in, there are no innocent. Okay, uh, <laughs> I, I, I'd like to I'd like to know a little bit more about this. I mean, these conversations that you're having with your colleagues who are still serving in uniform, what is the reaction uh, on their part when you when you tell them things like this? First, first a disbelief, and what I what I show them immediately afterwards is an interview with a Danish demolitions expert mm -hmm. named Jan Danny Joenko, mm -hmm. and it shows the third building at the World Trade Center going down, mm -hmm. WBC seven. Right. And they look at that, and I said, "Now you understand that if one of the buildings was wired for demolition." All of them were wired for right. demolition, right? And that's it. Mm -hmm. That's the t that's the tipping point. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, getting into arguments about who was flying what and where they were and whether there was nanothermite. These those things are true, but they're incidental. Right. The thing that's that's necessary is to tell people three buildings went down, the third was not hit by a plane, it was wired for controlled demolition. Therefore, all of them were wired for mm -hmm. controlled demolition, and at that point, the reaction is rage. First disbelief, and then rage. Well, I got to tell you that I find to be very uh, encouraging because, uh, you know, based upon the cursory conversations I have with some military people, and I have to be real careful about what I say because. Uh, you just don't know what you're walking into when you start a discussion of this of this type with one of them. Based upon these, as I said, cursory conversations that I've had with some of them, uh, they're clueless and they don't want to hear about it. Uh, you know, they they are loyal to the flag that uh, is on that on their left sleeve on as a patch, and the thought that the government could uh, be in any way involved in any kind of high crimes uh, and treason against the United States, people of the United States, is just unthinkable to them. So I'm glad to hear that there are some, there still is some gray matter and some patriotism left, uh, at least in the circles where you travel, Dr. Sobrowski. Well, I mean, it, it's not that they don't want to hear it, it's that they don't know of it. And, you know, what I, what I have done when I presented it to these people, and I said, just look at this, just look at this picture. You know, don't. Get, I'm not going to give you an argument. Just look at it. And they look at the film, and without exception, they come back and they say they did it, didn't they? I said, Yep, 